Welcome to an introduction to Drosophila Genetics Lab. This program is a genetic breeding simulation designed for use with students 16 years and older. At the basic level, Drosophila Genetics Lab provides students with first-hand observational data. Unlimited flies and generations can be bred with this powerful simulation. To make the program easy, it consists of only two major screens. Here we have the incubator where the flies are bred and their offspring observed. When you first enter the incubator, a pair of flies has already been bred and 100 offspring are ready to be observed. This breeding setup corresponds to the first recommended student experiment. We can observe the parents by moving the mouse over the parent jar to anesthetize them and simply drag each to the observation stage. Once there, we can see that this fly is a male. Note the black dumpy abdomen and their sex combs on the fore legs. They are also normally smaller than the females. By mousing over the wings, they spread out and the veins darken for easy identification. Mousing over the magnifying glass lets us observe the bristle type of our fly. Note, down the bottom you see the fly genotype. The genotype format is controlled in the options menu above, so it can be easily changed depending on your preferences. Let's change the display to single letter genotype. The option to display the genotypes of the parents and offspring are controlled by the teacher options, which are discussed in another video. I'll replace the male and now we'll observe the female parent. Notice the bee-like abdomen of the female. This female is a mutation called vestigial wings. We already have 100 offspring from these parents, however I'll just show you how easy it is to breed an additional 100 offspring. I'll just click on this breeding button to produce another 100 offspring. Unlike real flies, there is no limit to the number of offspring this pair can produce. The realism of this breeding program is enhanced by the fact that the flies are not just randomly generated. Each fly is generated from gametes, which have undergone the processes of crossing over and random segregation, therefore generating very realistic results, not just theoretical ones. Now we'll observe our first offspring, just drag and drop. Currently the teacher options are set to display both parent and offspring genotypes. You may want to change that. We are required to observe each fly, categorise and record our observations. This is a female wild type fly. We record this fly either with a counter or a tally mark in a table. Move the offspring to the morgue and then collect the next fly to observe. Be careful, if you drop them in the wrong place they may escape. To speed things up we've added this button which drops the fly in the morgue and collects the next fly for observation with one click. We then continue to collect data until the recommended number of flies has been counted. Now it's time to select the next parents. Select the male and a female and place them in the future jar either by dragging or by using the hold button. We'll need to empty both the parents and the offspring jars using the empty buttons. I can select the new parents from either the future uh, parent jar or by loading saved parents or individuals using the select button. I'll just drag the new parents over. You would tend to use the select arrow when you are starting a completely new experiment. We now press the breed arrow. Remember until they are bred these flies are still strictly speaking offspring. We've now produced the second generation of offspring only minutes after starting the experiment, a lot faster than the few weeks normally needed. First we verify the new parents' genotypes by observing them. We're ready to count the second generation. The second major screen is the construction kit, where individual flies can be made for use in the incubator. There are 26 mutations which can be combined for millions of possible flies. For more information on the construction kit and its uses, see the construction kit video in this series. Please view the other videos in this series to gain a better understanding of this program and its resources.